right. That's it. There ain't nothing else to do except sit here. It's too cold to do anything. Watch TV. Hopefully, I get some TV channels. Watch TV and watch the snow. All right, good morning. <laughs> We're in Wisconsin. We're in Wisconsin Dells. And uh, it snowed last night. We got unloaded. We got unloaded this morning. Hang on, let me find a button to engage. So what I've done is I've engaged uh, the power divider. And what that does, it, I don't know, it makes it like four wheel drive. There's two drive axles. When the power inviter is not engaged, there's only power going to the front drive, I believe. When the power divider is locked in, it goes to both drive axles. So I put the power divider in, we're empty. And that makes a big difference. When we were driving in the snow before, we, ate, we weighed 80,000 pounds. And we we're empty right now. And one of the hardest things about driving in the snow empty or the brakes on the truck are designed to stop a lot of weight. And when you're empty and you go to touch the brakes, especially in the snow, or even the rain, uh, the brakes will have a tendency to lock up because they're designed to stop a lot of weight. Now, I do have anti-lock brakes and that does work, but uh, it still can be a little tricky. Um, as you can tell, we're kind of out in the boonies. We delivered to a small little factory. Um, our next load is over in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. And we're gonna go over there. We're gonna head over that way. It's all back roads to get over there. There's no major highway to go over there. So from here to about 30 miles, there's a, uh, a little tiny truck stop. So we're gonna make it to there. If it takes a long time to get there, then We'll hide out there. This stuff's supposed to be over with around noon. Uh, and they were talking about eight inches of snow. So, uh, and we were camped out here last night. So what I'm trying to do is figure out, we're gonna make a left. We're getting on highway 23 here. And we're gonna run 23. Now 23 is a highway. So hopefully it has some maintenance done on it. And as long as we don't have a lot of traffic and have to make any major stops, then uh, we should be okay. Now, Mercer does have a policy. If you don't want to drive in the snow, if you feel it's unsafe, you don't have to drive. Nobody will force you to drive. It's your truck. You're the captain of the ship. So if you decide that uh, you don't want to drive in bad weather, that is 100% your choice. They would rather it get there safely than uh, stuck in the ditch. So you see how these little hills right here this is what concerns me. If we get stuck on one of these little lights right here, we could have a hard time getting going. Uh, I was talking to my friend, we're in Wisconsin Dells, and he said that this is like a big tourist um, getaway. This is where a lot of people come from the cities like Chicago, come up here and get away from everything. So this is kind of a tourist area up here. Get through this little bit of town this does look pretty it's nice we'll get this through this little bit of town here and then uh i'll stop talking make our way but yeah because we're empty that it, it just makes me a little bit more nervous uh when we're empty and we only had 14,000 pounds on the trailer this morning 
Uh, got up here, it was just starting to sleet rain by the time I got up here last night. And I uh, camped out because I knew the storm was coming. So I knew if I could get a little bit further, we'd be all right. This does look like a nice area out here. It is 18 degrees outside. I got plenty of uh, additive in the fuel, so that shouldn't be an issue. And if I remember right, most of this up here is kind of flat. I think once we get away, we're near a river. I think once we get away from that river, it's pretty flat up here, uh, if I remember right. Let's see if we can time this about right. There, I see the light changing. There we go. So we're going to follow the 23 over to 39, I think it's, no it's not 39, I don't know, it's one of the roads over here, another interesting, but we're going to follow it over here, so, alright, let's make our way over here and talk to you guys in a bit. Expert 
snow driver because I only drive in the snow maybe five, six times a year during the winter time. Uh, I try to avoid it when possible. So I don't drive in it every day. You know, these guys that live up here in Wisconsin, Michigan, Minnesota, all those areas up there and deal with this stuff daily. slow down and following distance I think is one of the biggest things when you see those huge accidents on the, the news and on the news at nighttime I think following distance has a lot to do with it I see guys they're less than a truck length behind each other in the snow and it takes one car truck whatever to screw up and they just pile on top of each other. Wisconsin has a lot of these little tiny little tiny truck stops like this which is nice Get in here, get it spun around, find a spot to park. Find a spot to make sure we can get out of too. This truck bumper's pretty low. That snow bank's not very high. Just kind of watch out for snow bank.
go. Let's figure out what we're going to do. So I'll talk to you in a bit. Alright, we made it over here to Oshkosh, Bogosh, Wisconsin. Let's see if I can figure out how to get in this place. Maybe it'll be a sign. Maybe to be a sign tells me what to do. Shipping and receiving proceed two blocks, turn right. Rockwell Avenue, then drive one block, turn right. Two blocks, turn right, Rockwell. I can remember that. In 300 feet, arrive at 10 or 5 High Avenue on right. get checked in at this place get loaded find out what we're gonna get and do confusing let alone confusing in the snow all right let me figure this out talk to you guys in a bit all right uh, things did not go as planned I got over there to uh, pick up my axles I was supposed to load the axles and it's not going to be ready till tomorrow uh, the order it was supposed to be ready today. The order that's when they were, but somebody somewhere messed up. So Katie's gonna see if she can get me uh, detention or overlay pay, overnight pay because I didn't do anything wrong. The order that I got that I agreed to said to be here today, uh, and it's not because of the weather, it's because the product's not ready. So they don't allow overnight parking where I was. So I came down here to a little truck stop and uh. As you can see, the weather conditions do not look that good. Uh, we're parked kind of in the back back here. But uh, I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Truck stops over that way. Uh, it's only supposed to snow for a couple more hours and then it'll be done. But tonight's supposed to get really, really cold. So uh, anyway, I have nothing but time. So I will try to edit a video. Uh, maybe do some paperwork while I'm sitting here. But, uh, yeah, I, I've stayed at this truck stop before. I've been here a long time ago. But I was not happy, but there's not too much I can do about it. If it's not ready, it's not ready. So I just hope they pay me layover pay. I could. If they didn't pay me layover, I could leave if I wanted to. I'd be, I wouldn't get in trouble if I left. 
because I did what I was supposed to do. The water said today, if it's not here, it's not here. But the weather's terrible. There's nothing else to load. So, I mean, the principle of thing, I could leave, but I'd kind of be shooting myself in the foot. There, that's them. Hang on, let me talk to them. Hello, it's Daniel. Okay. All right, sounds good. Thank you very much. Okay. Bye-bye. All right. So that was the agent that was handling this. And she just called to let me know that the customer is going to go ahead and pay me some money to uh, stay here overnight. So, uh, so that's a good thing. That's all right. Nine times out of ten, or maybe not that much, I'll say 80% of the time. 80% of the time, you know, they'll do the right thing. So, Alright, that's it. There ain't nothing else to do except sit here. It's too cold to do anything. Watch TV. Hopefully I get some TV channels. Watch TV and watch the snow. So, Alright, talk to you later. Bye.